Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Bailey and I'm a motion graphics artist and today's just going to be a short introduction to the Duic tool for After Effects. And what it is, is a script for doing rigging like IK systems, FK stuff, stuff with controllers, bones, some even animation automation. And if you've already been using this, this is probably not the video for you, but if you're new to it, then I this will be perfect. So what you want to do first is download the software. And while it's technically free, I highly encourage you guys to donate to the people who made this because as you'll see in a minute, it is super, super awesome. So I'll put a link to that and let's get started. So we're just going to set up a three point IK system, you know, shoulder, elbow, wrist, just to get the ball rolling here. Okay. So I'm going to create a couple solids. So I'm going to hit control Y and the composition settings don't matter at all, but this for the solid, I'm just going to make it 200 by 20 and I'm just going to duplicate this by hitting control D and control D again. This is pretty basic, nothing special. Ultimately you'll be able to do this for anything, you know, anything you draw, whatever cartoons you're animating. Now, to set these up, you can use the anchor points, but I like to create nulls for this kind of thing. So I'm going to do Control Alt Shift Y to create a null object, and I'm going to use these for the joints. So I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate this. So I got the shoulder, now I got the elbow, and now I got the wrist. So this is the sh like the bicep, and this is the forearm, and this is the hand. You get the idea. I'm going to rename these just to make it a little bit easier. So I'm going to call this joint wrist and I'm hitting enter to rename these joint elbow, elbow and joint shoulder. And what the heck I'll rename these two. I'm going to call this hand and I want to call this forearm. And this will be about bicep. All right. Next, we want to set up the hierarchies for these, but by using the pick whip. So we want the shoulder to be the thing that is at the top of the hierarchy. I'm just going to move this up here. And you know what? I'll put the forearm under the elbow, the bicep under the shoulder. This doesn't matter. I'm just making it clear here. Okay, so the joint, the elbow joint will be a child of the shoulder. So I'm going to pick whip it to the shoulder and the wrist will be a child of the elbow joint. And the hand will be a child of the wrist, forearm, elbow, bicep, shoulder. And the reason I like to use nulls is because I just feel it's a little easier to deal with than the anchor points and you can use the anchor points just fine. That's really all I'm setting up here. Okay, cool. So now if we open up the rotations on these joints by hitting R. You can see that, hey, cool, it's all rigged up. All right, great. Now this is a good normal FK system, but we want to set up an IK system and we're going to use Duic. So what we ultimately, what we're trying to do here is we don't want to animate these rotations in the FK way. We want to move the position of this wrist null and to have these other guys rotate with it and to be attached to it, right? So what we want to do is create a controller at the position of this wrist. So we're going to select the joint wrist. Then we're going to go over to our Duic panel. And by the way, if you've just recently installed this, it will be up in the window down here. You can create this panel here. So with that wrist selected, click on controllers. This will bring up some options. This stuff is new in the Duic 15 version. Now there's some things like the size of it. What it's going to do is create like a shape just so we can kind of see it better. You can change the color and stuff, but all of these things can be edited later. I'm just going to hit create and it creates this controller for us. Now it's not working yet because we haven't set it up. So <clears throat> to do it, what you need to do is select the joints in the order of their hierarchy, starting at the bottom. So the wrist will be first and then holding control, we're going to select the elbow and then we're going to select shoulder. And lastly, we're going to select our controller. And if you happen to have a smaller rig than this, like a two point system, 
It's the same principle. You start at the bottom, child, parent, parent, and then select the controller last. Once those are selected, just go over to IK, click, and we're just going to do two layer IK goal for this one. Create. Awesome. Check it out. With the controller, we now have a fully rigged arm. Now, it does create a few options for us to mess around with. For instance, if we notice that, oh, hey, it's not supposed to bend down, it's supposed to bend up. We can go up to clockwise on the joint elbow and we can just check that box. We can have it go the other way. Just depends on the situation, right? Now, we also have some stuff for like FK up here. Like we can disable the IK for a little while and then just animate the like the upper FK. So this would be the shoulder here and this would be our elbow right here, right? I'm just going to turn that off because we don't want that. There's got other stuff in here too, like the stretch. This will, this has to do with, so if I turn that off and we move this controller, we see that it, it doesn't extend past. But if we do check this, we get some stretching here. Very cool. Lots of stuff to play with. All right. So I've used this plugin a lot over the years. And here's one example. I got this desk lamp where I want to just give a little subtle animation. And this is basically the same principle, right? We got our shoulder pivot here. We got our elbow. We got our wrist. This is just for a three point, right? You can hit zero to do a RAM preview. It kind of just falls and settles. And I used Duik to do this because it was just a lot easier. And I, let's see, it's actually kind of complex. I was doing some other stuff too, but that's cool. Let's go back over to the test. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm not going to talk too much more about anything else because this was just an introduction to those of you who haven't used it yet. So I highly recommend it. It is an awesome tool. And if the guy who's making, who made this is watching, thanks, man. I love this thing. All right. I'll catch you guys next time.